Johnny. What's going on guys? As promised, a video where I'm installing the angle mods. The left side is already done. So as you can see, the tires is flush. I mean, yeah, pretty much flush with the fender. I'm going to show you guys the original side where I haven't touched it yet. As you can see, not flush at all. So I already did the left side. It was a pain in the ass. I couldn't separate the knuckle from the arm, so I took it all off. I broke a, a ball joint removal tool, and then I also busted 316 mil um, sockets. That's because I don't have like the right ones to use with an impact. Where is it? It's split. Come on. Oh, right here. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see with this one. So yeah, I'm going to set up the camera um, and try to <laughs> disassemble the right front now and hopefully it won't be such a pain. I think it won't be because um, I saw that the car had an accident on the front right side so I think every everything there has already been separated at one point. So Also the video will be shot in, um, in two parts because I cannot press this one in. I'll have my buddy do that again. He, di he did it for the other side. So going to set you guys up there on the tripod, start disassembling, wish me good luck. Alright, not sure how good you can see me, but this tool right here is pretty crucial to the job um, because I just hammered like two or three times, but I gave up. Last time it didn't work either. Um, this is to get your tie rod ends off of the knuckle. Uh, you can always try this one um, for the lower control arms and the knuckles, um, but this is like pretty little. You also have a bigger one, the bigger one I broke, um, well I didn't break but the treads are a little bit stripped on them so I will just remove the knuckle and the lower control arm um, as I did for the other side. So I'll try this one for the tie rods, it'll pretty much work, pretty sure. Right. So everything is off. I'll try to make it work so you guys can see it. So I keep the knuckle on the load control arm. It was a pain in the ass last time I tried to remove it so I'm keeping it. So I have one bolt on the lollipop bushing and I still have the 22 mil on the ball joint right there. That one is a complete b This one took ages for me last time, at least two to three hours. But I think I have a good feeling on how to do it now. Alright, 
have the exact same issue as last time. Um, the part where the lower control arm, like this is the only thing keeping me back now to remove it. Um, yeah, I have a crowbar but it's it bends pretty hard so and it's not that long. So last time I think I think we did it like this and then with a lot of pressure on it it popped out on its own but yeah this bends too much it's too flexible so I need a different crowbar or another method to do this um, I'll think about this one um, I'll turn the camera back on whenever it's loose let's go alright we are six hours later and as you can see it finally dropped so um, after the last segment I tried for half an hour, maybe an hour, it didn't work. Um, I actually, I'll put this in a straight line. As you can see, I ended up bending this because I was trying to pry it like that. Also, the subframe, hold on. So, I'm prying against the subframe and as you can see it has a little dent. That will probably be fine. Um, also tried it with this one and as you can see hold on this one is bent as well and lastly I ended up using this long boy took a nice little pause um, got in one myself the two longer pry bars or bars whatever they are had my girlfriend helping putting pressure on it also I got myself a bigger hammer and just started uh, hammering on there. So always buy decent pry bars because or crowbars, not sure what's the difference, but you'll end up bending everything. So I'm going to drop the lower control arm completely. It's still on there with a nut right now, so it wouldn't just drop and damage the floor. Um, and then I'm completely done with the uh, disassembly of the front. Um, and then I'll still have to like try and get out uh, the OEM bushing. I don't have a press or anything, so I'm going to drill through it and then I'm going to try to saw it out or whatever. I did that for the other side, so I'm not stoked about it. Uh, I don't like doing that, but that's the only option I got. So, going to drop lower control arm. Okay, right, so. Whenever you're removing a ball joint, make sure that you have a look at the ball joint itself because right now, since it is loose, there's no pressure on it. And when I'm losing, uh, loosening the, the nut, it's actually like a silicon nut, like a, a locking nut. So whenever I turn, the ball joint spins with it. So I'm going to use pliers here to uh, grip on the, the ball joint. Um, there's also a possibility, like right here, not sure how good the camera will pick this up. But there's actually like an, um, you can put an Allen key in there as well, usually. But since I'm not reusing the lower control arm, F it. Right. The assembly of the knuckle and the lower control arm is finally out, so I'll clean this mess up um, and I'll continue to work on the lollipop which is right here. So I'm going to be drilling holes in there, maybe with a file or with a saw, try to get the iron ring out on the side and then wedge a, a flathead screwdriver in there and then just punch it up. It worked fine for the other side, so... Right. On to cleaning up. Right, so the middle part is out. What I'll do now is get a file, try to file the metal down until it's thin enough to try and break it. I'll skip to that part.
see you guys in a bit. All right, um, yeah, we are two hours and a half later. Um, I split one screwdriver, a flathead, and this one is completely mangled. It's uh, like inside the handle. Um, bushing completely gone. And we have a free lollipop. It took some damage, but I'm going to rough it up. So yeah, now I'm going to rough this up and clean up the whole garage. And I will continue the video whenever my guy pressed in the bushings. Um, it's this way around. So yeah, I'll continue the video there. See you guys next time.